Hi everyone, Paul Seymour here from Silver Screen Ads and what I'm going to do today is a review of VoiceOver IP, the Magic Jack. Um, if you've been thinking about trying this thing, I'm going to tell you the uh, you know some of the positive things about it and a couple of the negative things about it, things to consider uh, if you want to give the Magic Jack a try. Now, I've been using VoiceOver P for a while uh, voice over IP for a while now. I started back with Vonage and there's probably quite a few out there uh, of you out there that do use Vonage. Um, great service. One of the things I disliked about it though was it seemed like with Vonage the prices started increasing and increasing and going up. Before I knew it, um, when I think I got finally got rid of Vonage and decided to give something else a try, I believe I was paying, it was either $29 or $39 a month at that point. Um, and you know, voice over IP is supposed to be affordable and cheap. So I kept seeing these, you know, these crazy commercials for the this Magic Jack thing, and I thought, you know, is is that thing for real? Is it, you know, is it? It, it in fact, I think the commercials that sometimes did it a little harm because it almost seemed too good to 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 be true. It seemed a little hokey. Um, but you know, I finally gave in one day and d decided to uh, order it and and just give it a shot. I figured it, you know, it wasn't expensive. Um, and I think at the, the point there, it's, uh, it was $19 for the year. And, um, so I figured, you know, uh, what's that? It's, it's, it's not that expensive. So I ordered it, I got it. And basically what you do with your magic jack is real simple. You just plug it into an available USB port on your computer. Now I liked mine so much uh, after I started using it, I'm going to show you here. Um, if you look right back here, and it's probably a little hard to see. Um, let me see if I can zoom in here a little bit with my camera. It's being a little touchy on me here. It's only going a little bit at a time. I think my batteries aren't great here. but Okay, um, you can see it's right back here. It's plugged in. And you just plug it into an available USB port. And one of the other great things out there right now is... Um, you know, a lot of, especially, I, I see them a lot at the uh, warehouse stores. I know I, I go to Costco a lot. And you can get phones now that only have to be plugged in one place, and then they kind of broadcast the signal to the whole house. So I can plug my Magic Jack into the computer, run that line to the phone, and then I have little satellite phones throughout the house, and they all work. And... So, you know, you, you turn it on, and let me just click the speaker here, and you can hear, you know, it works like a regular phone, and it works great. And just to show you, you know, that it, it, it does work. Um, I'm dialing my iPhone right now. So, there it goes. So, you see, it's fast, it's quick, it works no different than any other... Uh, you know, phone that you'd be using out there, whether it's, you know, Verizon or Vonage or whatever. Now, let's talk about some of the uh, negative aspects of the Magic Jack, because there are a couple. Here's some of the things I've noticed about the Magic Jack uh, that were a, a downside, but wasn't enough to make me, you know, not use it or like it. And in fact, as you can see, I went out and I bought two of them because I bring one with me when I travel. Um, oh, one other quick thing is I can plug this into my computer. I don't even have to plug it into another phone. I can e literally talk right through my Mac or another computer. Uh, it does have the interface for that online. Now, downsides. Well, one of the downsides, of course, with any voice over IP, if you've never used this type of technology, if your internet service goes down, your phone service goes down. So that's a downside, and you know if you have Comcast or Verizon, um, if you have their phone package, you probably have experienced that at one time or another. Uh, if you lose your internet, you lose your phone. So that's the downside. Uh, another downside of the Magic Jack is portability of your number. You cannot port a number that you've had for years over to the Magic Jack. Uh, which you can do with Vonage. When I left Verizon and went to Vonage for several years, I moved my number over. Uh, it took a few days, but I was able to take my number with me. Um, to my knowledge, that can't be done with the Magic Jack. I didn't see any options on there for that. 
uh, you pretty much have to pick a new number. Now, that being said, there's lots of great numbers out there. You don't even have to pick a number for where you live. In fact, if you wanted a number that isn't even in the state you live in, you can pick it anywhere you want, um, which is really cool. So, you know, um, there's a lot of little uses for that, especially, you know, if you were a business and you wanted to set up like a, a satellite location and have a number for that location, you could do that with the Magic Jack. Um, so that's one thing I do like about it is you can pick where you want the location of that number to be, uh, which could be, you know, something you do to be more convenient for customers, whatever. So that's one of the downsides though, that doesn't have the number portability. Uh, the only other glitch I've noticed with it was occasionally when the phone hasn't been used in a while, sometimes I'll turn it on and I don't get the immediate dial tone. Um, so what I do is, I found the simple fix is just shut it off, turn it back on, and it's usually fine. So, but if it's, uh, you know, like, a, if it's maybe been a couple days and the phone hasn't been used at all, uh, and I turn it on, sometimes there's no dial tone, but just turn it off, turn it right back on, usually brings it right back up. I don't know if that's my magic jack per se, uh, or if it's, you know, something that other people have experienced with the magic jack, something I've noticed you know, maybe there'll be uh, an upgrade or something that might do it. It may even be, it could even be something with how my computer's configured, um, but I haven't figured out what it is that makes it do that. But for me, it hasn't been a big issue. If I turn it on, there's no dial tone. I shut it off, turn it back on, there's a dial tone. So what I'll do now is I'll do a quick cutaway just to show you the interface, what that looks like online, and then here's what I tell you to do right now. If you look down below, right in the corner. Uh, you'll see a link, a clickable link. I put it right in the front of the description if it's on YouTube and if it's on uh, one of the websites, it'll be below. Um, if you click that link, it's going to take you right to the special offer where you can get the free shipping. But the real thing that you really want to consider right now is taking up the $69 offer. There's a offer on the table right now with Magic Jack, and you can take it after you, you can do your free trial first, make sure you like it, and then take it. But for 69 bucks, you can lock in for five years. Now, I'm no mathematician, but it pretty much should work out to somewhere around $1.15 for unlimited local and long distance from the U.S. and Canada for five years. Now... Barring that the Mayan calendar is correct and the whole world explodes in 2012, uh, you should be good till about 2016 for phone service at a dollar a month. You can't beat that. That's I mean that's just a great deal. So check it out. Click the link below. Um, go to the site. Give the free trial a swing. Hey, if you don't like it, if you don't like the way it works, you don't have to keep it. And you can, you know, tell them that, you know, you don't want the offer. But if you do like it, then what I would say is rather than going with the $19 a year offer, I would go with the uh, $69 five-year offer and cover your inter cover your phone service for a $1.15 or so uh, a month for the next five years. That's the uh, Magic Jack. And what I'll do is now I'll do a just a quick cutaway and I'll show you some of uh, the online interface and what's that, what that looks like. It's very simple to use, and, and that'll be it. So uh, give it a test drive and see if it's for you. I've really enjoyed it. Uh, like As you can see, I, I own two of them, and I can highly recommend the Magic Jack. Have a great day, everybody. Okay, we are recording now. So I'm going to show you what happens when you plug in the Magic Jack. So I'm plugging in my Magic Jack to my laptop and I want to show you what the online interface here looks like. So the first thing you're going to get is this uh, little screen here is going to pop up and tell you to double click uh, the icon. Now if you it's the first time you ever use it you go through a, a sign up procedure and picking your phone number and all that stuff but it's very simple and walks you through it. And then you get that little uh, message you saw there that a minute of patience is worth a lifetime of savings. And then this is the interface right here, and it's very simple. Um, you can minimize it and have it way down at the bottom where you don't even see it, or you can click it and bring it up anytime you need it. And 
There's a menu here. Like I said, you can plug a regular phone into the uh, Magic Jack into the end here and use it if that's how you wanted to use it. But you can also use it uh, directly into the computer. So here with my laptop, if I was traveling, just to give you an example, um, I could make a call. Say I wanted to call home, and for example purposes, we'll just use my iPhone and uh, put in the number and give that a call. And I'll show you how it works. So it's now calling my iPhone through the computer, through the Magic Jack. And there you go. You can see my Magic Jack's calling my phone. And I can answer it. And, and you can hear, hear it's probably, probably a little double, a little voice, double voice, but I'm, but I'm having, having a conversation, conversation right, now right now through my iPhone, my iPhone and the Magic, and the Magic Jack, Jack at the same, same time. time. But that's, but that's how you, how make, you a make a call from, from your computer, computer, and then as, you know, I could be talking on the computer, and it's coming out the phone. Um, but it's great. Love the Magic Jack. Uh, that's the online interface. Let me hang this up so we can end that echo. And um, very easy to use, very affordable. Less than a dollar twenty-five a month, you can lock in for the next five years. So, uh, click the link below. Try out the free trial. See if it's for you, and see if you enjoy the Magic Jack as I, as I do. And uh, I look forward to hearing your comments about it and comments from other Magic Jack users. Have a great day, everybody.